will now continue with some special music for this day. See the wonder in the making, Emily Gates and Kathy Hayden. We give thanks as we're gathered in this day and trusting in God's word and promise for Wayland and Seth in this day as they continue to hear God's word and promise um, given to them in word and water to be washed in us, to be forgiven, and to be called children of God. We give thanks in this day. Um, please follow along. It's in the baptismal liturgy was within our red hymnal, but we also have one Thursday. In holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we are reborn children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By water ends the Holy Spirit. With God's word, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with him and his people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have your children baptized into Christ? In Christian love, you have presented your sons for holy baptism. Therefore, faithfully bring them to the services of God's house, Teach them the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. And as they grow in years, you should place in their hands the Holy Scriptures, and provide for their instruction in the Christian faith, that living in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the Church, they may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? Sponsors, do you? Promise to nurture these children in Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit and to help them to live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church. People of God, do you promise to support Sutton and Wayland? Do you to pray for them in their new life in Christ? 
I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give thanks for the beginning of the Spirit moved over the waters and you created the heavens and the earth. By the gift of water, you nourish and sustain us and all living things. By the waters of the flood, you condemned the wicked and saved those whom you had chosen, Noah and his family. You led Israel by a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire through the sea, out of slavery into the freedom of the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit by the baptism of his own death and resurrection. Your beloved son has set us free from the bondage of sin and death and has opened the way to joy and the freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdoms and cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit, so that Sutton and Waylon, our, who are here baptized, may be given new life. Wash away the sin of those who are cleansed by this water, and bring them forth as inheritors of your glorious kingdom. To you be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. In the Son. Sutton James Quinn. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Baylin, Ray, Kalina, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your sons and daughters from the power of sin and for raising them up to new life through this holy sacrament. Pour your Holy Spirit upon Sutton and Wayland, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. Suddenly, James Clinton, you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit, and you have been marked with the cross of Christ forever. Waylon, Ray, Lena, you have been sealed with the Holy Spirit, and you have been marked with the cross of Christ forever. Now, 
these are gonna be fun for you later. These are your baptismal candles to be lit on the anniversary of your baptism to continue to be something that reminds you with the physical lights of the presence of God with you and that you continue to cast out in this world. We light this from the Christ candle, which means that Christ's presence with you always, that you continue to actually not bear your own light, but continue to share Christ out into this world. Seven, James Kalina. Let your light so shine before others that they see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Amen. Waylon Ray. Kalina. May your light so shine before others that they see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let us pray. God, the giver of all life, look with kindness upon Darren and Julie. Give them ever rejoice in the gifts that you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness for Seth and Waylon. Strengthen them in their own baptism so that they may share eternally with their sons the salvation you have given them through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Through baptism, God has made these new brothers members of the priesthood that we share in Christ Jesus, that we may proclaim and praise God and bear His creative and redeeming word to all the world. Let us now welcome Sutton and Wayland at this time. We welcome you into the body of Christ, into the mission we share. Join us in giving thanks and praise to God and bearing God's creative and redeeming words to all of the world. Amen. Now, may peace be with you. Please share this gift of peace with Sutton and with Layton at this time. Peace be with you, Sutton. 